Magandang araw sa inyong lahat and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Makukulong na nga ba si Vong Navarro? Binaliktad ng Court of Appeals ang desisyon ng Department of Justice noong 2018 at 2020 sa mga reklamong inihain ng modelo na si Denise Milinet Cornejo laban kay Vong Navarro. Ngunit hindi nagpasindag ang kampo ng TV host comedian na si Vong Navarro sa utos ng Court of Appeals sa Taguig Prosecutor's Office na ituloy ang kasong at acts of lasciviousness laban sa kanya. Ito pa rin yung reklamo ng dating modelo na si Denise Cornejo laban sa kumidyante na isinampanya niya noong taong 2014. Ayon sa legal counsel ni Vong Navarro na si Attorney Alma Malyonga, hindi pa final ang desisyon ng Court of Appeals at iaapilan nila muli ang kaso ni Vong Navarro. Magkahain daw sila uli ng motion for reconsideration sa korte para harangin at baliktarin ang naging desisyon ng Court of Appeals. Gagamitin din anya ni Vong ang lahat para kontrahen ang reklamo ni Denise. The decision is not yet final as Vong Navarro will ask the Court of Appeals to reconsider the same. He will exercise all the other rights and remedies that are available to him under the law. Sabi ng abogada sa panayam ng TV Patrol. Base sa 26 pahinang desisyon ng Court of Appeals, 14th Division noong July 21 na inilabas last July 31, inaprubahan ang petition for review na inihain ni Denise. Kinontra nito ang resolusyon ng Department of Justice or DOJ last April 30, 2018 at July 14, 2020. It was erroneous for the DOJ to deny Cornejo's petition for review on the ground that her statements in the compliant affidavits are inconsistent and incredible. In this regard, it bears to stress that the determination of probable cause does not depend on the validity or merits of a party's accusation or defense or on the admissibility or veracity of testimonies presented. Ultimately, It falls upon the trial court to determine who between Navarro and Cornejo speaks the truth. Cornejo decries attempted rape on the night of January 22, 2014, while Navarro denies any wrongdoing on his part. We reiterate once more that the preliminary investigation is not the proper venue to rule on the respondent's guilt or innocence. Finally, It must be borne in mind that the admissibility or inadmissibility of the party's evidence should be ventilated before the trial court, during the trial proper, and not in the preliminary investigation. Ang nakasaad pa sa desisyon ng Court of Appeals na permado ni Associate Justice Florencio Mamawag Jr. at sinang ayuna ni na Associate Justices Victoria Isabel Paredes at Mary Charlene Hernandez Azora. Matatanda ang pinakakasuhan ng at acts of lasciviousness ng Court of Appeal si Vong Navarro base sa reklamo na Denise Cornejo. Inatasan ng Court of Appeals ang Taguig Prosecutor's Office na sampahan ng mga kaukulang kaso ang kumidyante para sa umano'y pangaabuso sa modelo na si Denise Milinet Cornejo noong 2014. Base sa 26 pahinang desisyon ng 14th Division ng Court of Appeals, sumang-ayon ito na aprobahan ang petisyon ni Denise Cornejo at ibasura ang resolusyon ng Department of Justice or DOJ noong April 30, 2018 at July 14, 2020. Issues of credibility should be adjudged during the trial proper. It goes without saying that it is the trial court that has the unique power and position to observe the witness's deportment, matter of testifying, emphasis, gesture, and inflection of the voice, all of which are potent aids in ascertaining the witness's credibility. However artful a corrupt witness may be, there is generally, under the pressure of a skillful cross-examination, Something in his manner or bearing on the stand that betrays him and thereby destroys the force of his testimony. Ipinunturin ng CA na What is merely required is probability of guilt, the determination of which does not call for the application of rules or standards of proof that a judgment of conviction requires after trial on the merits. 
It is enough that it is believed that the act or omission complained of constitutes the offense charged. Precisely, there is a trial for the reception of evidence of the prosecution and support of the charge. Matatanda ang nagsampa ng tatlong magkakahiwalay na reklamo si Dinis Cornejo laban kay Vong sa OCP Tagig. Pero sa naunang pahayag ng kumidyante, siya ang biktima sa nasabing kaso dahil bukod sa pangbubugbog sa kanya, hiningian pa raw siya ng pera ng grupo ni na Dinis Cornejo. Samantala, nag-tweet ang actress na si Kat Alano sa gitna ng utos ng Court of Appeals na kasuhan ng ang actor na si Vong Navarro dahil sa ginawa nito laban kay Denise Cornejo noong 2014. Sa kanyang tweet, nagsalita si Kat tungkol sa accountability na dapat ay hinaharap ng mga tao. We seem to go from wrongdoing to forgiveness right away. We forgot about accountability. We really need to hold people accountable for their actions. Sabi ni Alano, isa sa mga nagbigay ng tugon sa tweet ni Kat ay si Attorney Ferdinand Tupasio na abogado ni Diniz. Matatandaan na nag-viral noon sa social media si Kat at Vong dahil sa post ng actress sa di umanoy si Kat na personalidad na nagsamantala sa kanya. Noong 2020 ay ibinahagi ni Kat ang di umanoy pananamantala sa kanya ng personalidad na itinago niya sa alias na Hashtag Rhymes with Wrong o ang ibig sabihin ay katunog ng salitang wrong ang pangalan ng nagsamantala sa kanya. Ipinaliwanag niya rin na hindi na siya nagsampa ng kaso laban kay Hashtag Rhymes with Wrong dahil sa makapangyarihan di umano ang mga kamag-anak nito. By the way, For everyone asking why I never filed, his uncle made sure that all cases against him would be dismissed. I found this out firsthand. Also, they have been waiting to file a case against me to silence me and discredit me in the media, knowing I would never get any justice by filing. We kanya. Matatandaan na inakusahan noon si dating Department of Justice or DOJ Secretary Laila Dilima na nagbibigay ng special treatment kay Vong. Pinuna naman ngayon ng CA na nagkamali ang DOJ noon sa pagbabasura ng kaso ni Vong. Mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para sa mga susunod na video updates. Maraming salamat po!